Yeah. You good? Oh, oh, you did. Yep, yeah, no problem. Hey, Miami Lakers, welcome to our daily COVID 19 update here in our community. Joined by our town manager, Ed Peterman. You have our town commander, Javier Ruiz, and our lieutenant, the traffic whisperer, Gonzo, uh, here with us. Uh, so, Miami Lakers, eh, bienvenido hoy para nuestro, hoy viene nuestro eh, eh, update de cada día que le, que le prometimos a la comunidad. Estoy hoy con el administrador, que siempre lo conoce, que está feliz hoy porque ganaron lo, los Dolphins, están siendo bien, eh, cogieron a Tua como el quarterback del futuro. Y tenemos el commander, de nuestra, el jefe de la policía de nosotros, Javier Ruiz, y el lieutenant, eh, que el, el señor que le habla al tráfico ha hecho un buen trabajo con eso, el señor Gonzo. Uh, Lieutenant Gonzo. So, uh, Miami Lakers, sorry, I'm going to be holding the uh, the uh, the phone here for a second. But I, we do have our update today. And today, more importantly, we're going to go into public safety. We're going to talk about uh, what's been happening in our community with public safety. I know there were a lot of uh, questions about that in the past. So we wanted to make sure we had our two experts, specifically our, our chief and our lieutenant here, uh, to answer any of your questions. Mr. Manager, with the daily update. Hey, Miami Lakers, how are you? Uh, today, we have, uh, just to start off, we have again... The same number today of confirmed cases as we did yesterday. So we had an increase of zero. We're, we're flat from yesterday to today. We have 43 cases. And actually, we have only an increase of only two cases in the last eight days. So again, that's a great tribute to the hard work that everybody is doing and doing their part, right? With the facial coverings, with the uh, uh, making sure we have social distancing, and not gathering in large groups. So that's a tribute to our Miami Lakers. Eh, le quería avisar que el número de casos confirmados positivos aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes sigue siendo 43. Ayer hubo 43 y no cambió para de ayer para hoy. Solamente ha habido dos casos nuevos en los últimos ocho días. Qué buena noticia. Eh, gracias, señor ministro. Ya lo, ya lo vieron. Eh, el update de los otros, pero más importante, hoy queremos hablar de la de public safety, eh, del seguro aquí de nuestra comunidad, de la policía y eso. Eh, town Commander. Well, just want to say hello to all the Town of Miami Lake uh, residents out there and let you know that we're really, really grateful for the job that you guys have been doing in uh, helping us out in terms of keeping your social distancing and following the emergency orders and following all the rules that you're supposed to be following. Uh, in terms of crime, we've seen a reduction in crime in this past month, which is great. And uh, really our focus has been on just get, uh, checking the businesses out uh, throughout each of these days uh, of, of this uh, pandemic and making sure that all the businesses are following rules. Uh, the overwhelming majority of the businesses, 99% of them are following the rules. So we're all doing great. And we feel like we're going, getting over the hump here. So uh, we're looking forward to when we can finally open stuff up. Just keep the, keep on it, and uh, you know we, we want to thank you for the hard work that you're doing. Queremos dar las gracias a todos los ciudadanos aquí de Miami Lakes por ayudarnos. Todo el mundo está está haciendo lo ordene y está haciendo lo que necesitan hacer para para en este tiempo para pasar por este tiempo y y nos está ayudando a nosotros eh, en, en a, a, haciendo todo lo que necesitan hacer y, y bueno vamos a seguir y estamos, estamos llegando a, a, a un punto a donde vamos a poder a, 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 poco a poco a, a abrir más y estamos checando los negocios y muchas gracias por toda tu ayuda Thank you, uh, gracias en nuestro jefe aquí en la, en, en la ciudad de Miami Lakes uh, Mr. Lieutenant, anything to add? I know uh, traffic has been light, but I know you've all still been monitoring uh, everything that's going on. Anything you want to chime in in regards to that? Yeah, as far as traffic is concerned, every, every day feels like a Saturday right now. Um, it's something new, so I would take advantage of the light traffic that we have. Um, we really appreciate you guys staying home. That helps out with the light traffic, you know, just the necessities and uh, essential work. Um, also, our officers, um, I've noticed that there's a great, everybody's following the traffic laws. And everything as far as enforcement has been very minimal because everybody in the town has been doing a great job. Just look out for each other, stay safe, and thank you very much. Hey, thank you, Miami Lakers. If you got any questions, you know, submit them now. Uh, we're definitely going to answer it. Uh, just some uh, to add, 
to, to some levity because I know that there is uh, uh, we're all on edge. We all want to see this this pandemic end. Uh, but just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the draft last night. So it looks like uh, the Dolphins finally drafted their quarterback of the future. Plus, got uh, secured a much-needed uh, lineman to help protect the quarterback from the future. And on top of that, got an amazing uh, player for our secondary. Looks like the Dolphins have the best secondary, in my opinion, in the, in the league after that pick. What do you think, Mr. Manager? No, I agree. I agree. And uh, hopefully they'll start plugging some of the other holes they still have. 10 to 12 more picks left in the draft. So hopefully they'll start. Uh, they need a running back. They need some other pieces. Uh, they probably you can never have too many offensive linemen. So I'm sure they'll uh, they'll get another, uh, hopefully an interior lineman like a guard. Pero para hablar un poquitico, eh, algo un poco diferente del, del, del coronavirus, esperando que, que todo el mundo ponga la pregunta aquí. Eh, los Dolphins, así tenía una noche muy buena anoche, ya tienen el, el quarterback del futuro, le cogieron otra persona en, en el offensive line y ahora tienen alguien increíble, otro cornerback. So, de, el equipo de verdad, por la primera vez en mucho tiempo, desde Dan Marino se ve mucho mejor. Eh, we do have our first question uh, here, Mr. Manager. Zoe Jose Santiero, eh, when are the parks opening? Okay, that's very good, important uh, question, and I was going to lead into that in a little bit. Miami-Dade County, early next week, probably Monday, will announce the limited opening of parks, waterways, and uh, golf courses. All right? So it'll probably be effective, not on Monday, they'll probably announce it on Monday, and it'll probably be effective probably Wednesday or Thursday. So it's going to be very limited. It's not going to be uh, little kids playing Little League Baseball and soccer and all that. It's going to be mostly for casual uh, and passive activities. Uh, the parameters of exactly what it's going to entail is going to be announced soon. And we're going to take a look at it and see if it's something that we are happy with. If there are things in there that we want to tighten or restrict a little bit more, we will do that, otherwise we'll live under the parameters of the county uh, ordinance. So obviously waterways, we don't get away from the cabin fever that we're all experiencing. Eh, muy buena noticia sobre nuestros parques, nuestra comunidad, que el administrador va a hablar de eso, que el lunes es un día bien grande. Eh, parece que va a haber una apertura en nuestro parque, señor administrador. Si el condado va a anunciar una apertura limitada para los parques, eh, para la gente Sorry about that, Miami Lakers. Uh, we had uh, some technical difficulties sometimes being in the building here at Town Hall, our uh, wireless or sometimes our data. Uh, we lose the feed for a second, so we do uh, apologize. Uh, we're back We're back on, though. Yeah, que quería avisar que el, el lunes van a anunciar una apertura limitada para los parques, para la gente que tiene bote y también los lo campos de golf. Eh, probablemente va a ser efectivo a lo mejor el miércoles a media semana miércoles o jueves y, y va a ser buena noticia porque todo el mundo ya está loco que está en la casa ahora le va a dar alguna avenida para poder salir de la casa un poquito y probablemente van a hacer actividades pasivas o sea que no van a haber eh, eh, juegos de pelota o de balompié van a hacer cosas pasivas como poder caminar estar en el parque caminando con, con eh, regulaciones y, y limitadas gracias señor administrador quick question for a manager and I'll, I'll just because I got a, a call from a resident today they are tot lots. Um, they, they are in regional parks, right? They're very localized parks. And I got a call from a resident today saying, hey, you know, is there an opportunity to, to open those up immediately, you know, or, or is, do we have to wait for the county? Yeah, the, the, those were in the original order from the county closing uh, those types of uh, tot lots. So we have to. Unfortunately, the way the pecking order is, when the federal government lays something, the states have to abide by it. When the state lays, uh, declares something, the counties all have to abide by it. And when the county declares something, uh, the cities under, in that county have to abide by it. So, yeah, the Todd lots are going to be closed. And I believe that in the new order, that the, the, they're also going to remain closed. But we're going to look at it and maybe the green space in those parks we may be able to open, but the tot lots, the monkey bars, the uh, play sets, those will probably continue to remain closed. Thank you, Mr. Manager. And we do have a question here for our town commander and our lieutenant. Uh, just because I know that they were there very, very early in the morning and they really did a great job coordinating that. 
So Alex Cruz Acevo is asking, how was the food distribution uh, today, uh, Mr. Town Commander, Mr. Lieutenant? Well, it went uh, very, very well. Uh, uh, the operation went well. Our, the traffic was, uh, it was a lot of cars, but it was also manageable. We managed to uh, continue the line all the way down to Miami Gardens Drive. We got a lot of help from Northwest District and their officers in terms of uh, traffic control. And we managed that line without impacting traffic in any way, which means uh, traffic was still able to flow freely uh, all, all the way from I-75 uh, east and west on Miami Gardens Drive all the way down 87th Avenue. Traffic was still able to go north and south on it without any impact on it due, due to the officers' efforts. And they did a, an outstanding job, uh, our, our officers did out there. So uh, we, we managed to uh, uh, get that done and uh, uh, the interior went uh, very smoothly. We got a bunch of cars in, a lot, a lot of people got their food and, uh, and uh, drove on out. And, uh, we, we feel it was a great success on our part. Thank you, great job guys. Thank you, uh, our town commander. Thank you, Lieutenant, for a great job today. Uh, Mr. Manager Faltino Miro, you know, he makes a good point. He says Tom Brady and the Gronk <laughs> went to the Buccaneers. What do you think? Hey, you can uh, live in tomorrow or you can live for uh, in the past. We choose to live in tomorrow. So we, uh, we like to look through the uh, front windshield instead of in the rearview mirror. I think the future for the Dolphins is extremely bright. And uh, I think we're, uh, you know, those guys are only getting older and uh, more beat up. So we have the young guns and the horses, and I think we're going to do great. Yeah, we do apologize. I see some of the folks saying we we do apologize. It it uh, we do we did have some technical difficulties, um, so we do apologize about that. But we're back on. Let me see. How many cases do we have in our town? Yeah, I announced at the beginning of our briefing today that we continue to have only forty three cases. So it's unchanged since yesterday, and in fact, we've only had two new cases in the last eight days. So in over a week, we've only had two new cases. In the past, uh, prior to last week, we really were uh, averaging one to two a day. And we've only had two in the entire last uh, eight days, which is great news. Definitely, definitely. That's great news. Lydell's asking, are you able to buy COVID tests to test local restaurant personnel? I, I really don't know that. The person, the entity that could probably answer that better for you would be the Miami-Dade County Department of Health. The, everything is being organized through them as a, as a branch of the Florida Department of Health. And if you contact them, uh, you should be able to uh, get an answer to that. If you call 311, that's the Dade County main number, and you ask them, how can I get in contact or ask a question of the Dade County Health Department, they should be able to help uh, guide you. Hope that answered your question, Lydell. I don't see any other questions. We'll give it another minute, and then we're going to log off. Uh, Town Commander, Lieutenant, any closing remarks in regards to public safety in our community? No, we just want to say uh, thank you to the citizens of the community. Uh, keep, keep doing the great work. You guys have been really supporting us and helping us out in our job. Uh, so we're, we're very grateful for the, uh, the efforts of the community and what you guys are doing. So uh, thank you so much for... For helping us out and as we start to open things up you're going to continue to see our presence out there this is you know in the future so as they slowly phase into the parks you'll see us out there checking to make sure everything is okay and uh, we'll, we're going to continue our, our high visibility out there and we'll see you around thank you uh, mr. town uh, commander traffic whisperer anything to, uh, to add in there no it's just uh, drive safe um, and stay safe and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Yeah, we always mention that Gonzo, at the direction of our uh, of our town commander, has been working on, uh, and we say that out of out of love that we have here. But our lieutenant does a great job, and that's a nickname that he's gotten around the community. Is uh, and I think our, our commander gave him that community, the Traffic Whisperer, because he you've seen that improvement happen when you had both of these guys together uh, working on that, and and those improvements are due to their hard work and dedication here. So. Uh, uh, I think you've earned that that nickname, and it was a uh, very well, very well given, uh, Mr. Manager. Any uh, anything else? Yeah, I just want to close by telling and reminding everybody the reason that we have seen the steady decline in new cases 
is because of the hard work that all of you have been doing. We cannot drop the ball. We're, on, we're on, at the five-yard line. We're on the verge of scoring a touchdown. We cannot fumble at this stage of the game. So please, please don't let your guard down. Continue with the facial coverings. Continue with the rigorous hand washing. Continue with the social distancing. Do not think that we are there yet. We have not scored the touchdown yet. We're very close, and that's uh, light at the end of the tunnel. So, But be careful. Do not let your guard down just yet. Lo viste ahí, residente de Miami Lakes, estamos trabajando duro. Los casos de, de COVID, de coronavirus aquí en la ciudad parece que está llegando a un punto donde no están creciendo tan rápido como pasaron las primeras dos semanas. Eh, pero tenemos, como dijo el administrador, tenemos que seguir trabajando haciendo eso, como dijo nuestro jefe de la policía, el lieutenant también. Eh, y al último de cabo, aquí estamos para ayudarlos todos ustedes. Eh, llámalo al 305-364-6100. Uh, give us a call at 305-364-6100. We are here to serve. We are here to help you uh, from our police officer, our town manager, all of our staff, volunteers, employees, you name it. We are here for you. And together, we will get through this. God bless you, Miami Lakers, and have a great weekend.